Hi, it's Karen, known by some as Kraken, and this is another off the post opinion piece, a crackdown, if you will. Um, I don't know. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about something that happened yesterday. Um, news broke that the National Women's Soccer League decided that they are going to fine Seattle Rain FC for comments that were made by head coach, general manager, Laura Harvey, in the press conference that happened after the Rain versus Thorns game on Saturday night. Um, here's a quick summary of what happened that night. Um, huge rivalry between Seattle Rain FC and Portland Thorns FC, something we all know about. Um, it's been there since before the National Women's Soccer League. It will be there forever, probably. And that's just how it is, because it's the Cascadia Clash. Anyways, it's the first one of four this year, so this is going to be interesting. Um, it was a really great match uh, for the first half. We had a lot of really good soccer, a uh, really fun soccer to watch, even though there were no scores. Um, however, it was very physical, which everybody and their mom realized was going to be happening. <laughs> That's what happens when Rain and Portland meet. That's just what happens. Uh, something that the ref, uh, I don't think, was aware of, or maybe he just didn't care. I don't really know. But um, what happened was there were a lot of really bad physical things that happened on the field. Um, a lot of players ended up on the pitch with injuries. Beverly Yanez has a giant gash on her lip because she got a split lip from her and Ali Long going up for a ball and getting an elbow in her mouth. Um, and that's not a dig on Ali Long. She, I mean, that happens all the time. She went back to check on Beverly Yanez as well afterwards. I, It happens. But the problem is that there was no foul called, which obviously was one. And that continued to happen throughout the game. Um, I said this before, but Rain FC's uh, metal, medical staff guy was busier in that match than the referee was. And that's not okay. That's not how games are supposed to go. You shouldn't have the medical staff on the field more than the, the referee is paying attention to the game. Anyways, um, so uh, there were two yellow cards that were given out in the game. It was way, 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 way late in the game. And one of them was, ex I mean, both of them were extremely obvious yellow cards. Uh, Lindsay Horan pulling back Kim Little on a breakaway. And she acknowledged that it was a yellow card. She went back and high-fived Kim Little. Um, and then the really hard challenge by Megan Morris on... Ellie Reed, which was a little bit uh, jarring, I thought. It's kind of violent, but that's the kind of thing that was happening the entire game. We had players thrown about the field, and the referee didn't have control of the game. So in the press conference, uh, a highly disappointed Laura Harvey uh, addressed the media uh, about the referee, and she said that she thought the ref lost control of the game, which is accurate. He did. Um, and she mentioned that she continually addressed the fourth official about the no calls and how someone was going to get hurt. Multiple people got hurt. So obviously that official did not listen. Um, and the officials weren't even listening to the captains on the field, which honestly, this is not the first time that this has happened just in this season of the league. Uh, I'm looking at you, Spidey, in that Portland, Washington game. Um, she made a point of not throwing the Thorns players under the bus, however. Um, she didn't say, oh, they were so rough, they were hurting our players, blah, 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 blah. Uh, she made a point of saying that the referee needs to have control of the game to protect all of the players. Um, the Seattle players, the Portland players. She was worried about any of the players getting hurt because he wasn't making calls the way that he should have been. Um, I think if he had given a yellow way earlier in the game, it would have signaled to the players, you know, this extremely physical play isn't going to fly. I'm going to give you a yellow card. Do you want to get two yellows and get a red like somebody else that we all know and love? No. Um, so 
if he had had control over that, it wouldn't have been a problem. But that's what she said in uh, the press conference. She mentioned Beverly Yanez's lip um, and made a point of saying nobody went out to obviously maliciously hurt any other players. But when you have a rivalry uh, and tensions are flying uh, and you have players on the team who really, really, really want to win, you're going to get dangerous situations. And that's the ref's job to make sure that doesn't happen. He didn't do that. Um, so challenges happened on the pitch. She said that shouldn't have happened uh, because they were dangerous. And they wouldn't happen in a match where the ref is actively controlling the game. Um, she also mentioned that the players and the captains of the teams need to also be vocal on the pitch during the game. Valid point. Uh, I think both teams were pretty vocal, and the referee was pretty much ignoring them. Uh, she also um, made a point of saying that when both teams come off of the field annoyed with the officials, you can tell there's something wrong. I think that's probably like a legit quote from the press conference. And she's right. Both teams were upset. Um, and even though Mark Parsons didn't echo Laura Harvey's sentiments about the referee, you could tell he was upset and miffed. And the way that he said, no comment, you could kind of tell he agreed. Um, so yeah, and honestly, we all knew that this fine was going to happen. I saw it coming the second I saw the press conference. I was like, she's going to get fined. Um, <laughs> and, you know, throw that on top of the unprofessional official recap that Seattle Rain put out, that was bad. Um, so the recap aside, because that I admit that was really bad. Um, the fact that Laura's been fine, I saw it coming. All of the leagues kind of do this. Um, they protect the referees over the player safety. That's just, I guess, how it goes. Um, so yeah, uh, Laura is going on two fines for dragging referees in the last three and a quarter seasons that the NWSL has had. So work it, LH, get it. <laughs> She's a treasure. Um, anyways, even though I saw it coming, even though we all saw it coming, even though rain might actually be uh, getting their fans and their players and even fans of other teams kind of fired up about the ref situation from this, which, good job, guys. Uh, I see you. Uh, even though I'm kind of miffed, um, I get it. I see where there are benefits. And I'm personally pretty revved up about it. Um, if... Anyways, I'm, I'm just saying, if, if I do a bad job at my work, I get in trouble. Um, if the players on the pitch are doing a bad job, they get benched. If they foul rough play, they get cards. Um, coaches get in trouble all the time. Uh, so far, referees in this league have not been held accountable for bad performances, and I don't think that's un I, I think that's unfair. Uh, they're pretty much the only part of the league that's protected. And I don't think that's right because these players are out there in dangerous situations when the referees are god awful. Um, so anyways, it happens in every league. Like I said before, I get it. It just shouldn't, it shouldn't. And National Women's Soccer League is a pretty young league. I think they have time to fix this and make this the soccer league that cares about the safety of its players. Um, instead of uh, a referee's hurt feelings taking precedence over the protection of the players, I think we should have it the other way around, because that's just logic. Um, <laughs> whatever. But here's something that I'm actually like really, really miffed about that's uh, pertaining to this fine. Um, so Rain gets fined, OK. Saw it coming. They might get some sort of benefit out of this, like NWSL actually looking into the ref situation. Um, the video of the press conference that Laura Harvey held 
uh, has over 700 views. Usually Seattle Rain puts up these press conferences. They get like 100 views, something like that. This one got 700 views. So people care. People are paying attention. And people know about this now. So it's definitely getting some circulation a little bit. But I'm actually kind of pissed off because uh, apparently when the NWSL finds a coach or a team, blah, 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 and the coach and, the, the coach and team pays up, um, the money from that fine doesn't go to National Women's Soccer League. It goes instead to the charitable partner of National Women's Soccer League, U.S. Soccer. And we all know what U.S. Soccer does with their money. And that means that these fines that are being paid for in the NWSL, the money from that fine could be potentially going towards the men's national team. And I think that that's dirty, rotten, and gross. And when I found that out yesterday, I swear to God, I was like on fire. Inside and out, I was on fire. That's not how it should be. Um, I don't know who decided that was okay. It's just not right. Um, it's, it's like if I punch my brother in the face and he requires compensation for that, so I have to go and give that compensation to my dad. I didn't punch my dad in the face, I punched my brother. Why does my dad get the money for me punching my brother in the face? So anyways, it's illogical, completely illogical, uh, but also completely typical. Um, I don't really know why I was so surprised that US soccer gets the money from these fines. Ridiculous. Anyways, um, that's pretty much my OP in Harvey We Trust. Go on with your bad self, Harvester. You're the best. Uh, I hope that she never leaves this league, honestly, because she's absolutely great. I don't think any other coach has spoken up for their players' safety enough to get fined, let alone twice. Uh, so I think that we, as fans of the league, need to get behind Seattle Rain right now, need to get behind Laura Harvey, and really push for better refs, because I'm really tired of seeing injured players, not just on my team, but all over the map. Um, there's been too many games where I've seen too many referees not making calls and having dangerous plays. So we really need to uh, strengthen uh, our support for people who are speaking out against this, people who have voices like Laura Harvey and putting her neck on the block for her players uh, and for the league, frankly. So anyways, that's my opinion piece. Uh, crackdown over. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they let me do these things. Uh, but thanks for watching. Um, I hope that this fires you up a little bit enough to uh, support the players enough to support the coaches and um yeah that's been my opinion piece um signing out bye <laughs>